वी आर गिवन एक्स एंड वाई एज फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम सो बोथ आर साइन फंक्शंस एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय द पॉइंट ड्यूरिंग द टाइम टॉ एंड द एंगल मेड बिटवीन द वेलोसिटी एंड एक्सेलरेशन सो विल राइट दीज आर द टू इक्वेशन विच आर गिवन सो इफ यू डिफ्रेंशिएट दैम यू विल सी दैट वी एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए ओमेगा कॉस ओमेगा टी एंड वी वाई इज ए ओमेगा साइन ओमेगा टी सो इफ यू फाइंड द टोटल वेलोसिटी you can see that that comes to be a omega which is a constant and if the velocity is constant then distance we can directly write as v into t which is a omega t a omega into t so this is the first part second part is the angle between the velocity and acceleration so let's differentiate it once more and we'll get this result actually this result is not needed to get our answer so let's find the answer first so angle between velocity and acceleration so let's call it cos theta so we have oh yeah of course we need this so <laughs> we'll write the velocity and acceleration both in i and j form and if you do the dot product of that that divided by the magnitude that is cos theta so magnitude so dot product will be a omega cos omega t into this thing so vx into ax plus vy into ay that is the dot product and if you do that you will get you will see that the both the terms are opposite so the acceleration will become zero sorry the cos theta value becomes zero which means the angle between velocity and acceleration is pi by 2 now a particle moving with a constant velocity constant speed and angle between velocity and acceleration is pi by 2 that is the case of a particle turning in a circle so here let's see where it will start and in which direction clockwise or anti clockwise it should go so to know that you put 2 is t is equal to 0 in this equation so you'll see x is equal to 0 and y is equal to a which means in our x and y coordinates is going to be upwards so here x is equal to 0 and y is equal to a now should it go right or left for that we'll use our second equation so here again we'll put t is equal to 0 and you will see vx is positive and vy is 0 which means it should it, it will be moving towards right so this particle is traveling in clockwise sense and it's starting from the top of the circle so obviously its trajectory is a circle which he has not asked but if you want you can just eliminate t omega t from both by squaring both x and y and you will see that you will get a equation of a circle 